This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a very good day. In this uh, very short video, I'm going to be talking about the Coachman Apex 251 RBK, a very nice uh, travel trailer I'm considering purchasing eventually. I went to Funtown RV in Claiborne, and they were very gracious enough to uh, allow me to uh, shoot this video. I'd like to thank them at this time. There are a couple things I like about this uh, unit. It's uh, constructed of Asdale, so there's less chance of uh, water intrusion. Also has a sofa, very nice, and of course a queen bed. You can pause this video at any time to look at the uh, specs or any visual elements that you find interesting. The exterior length of this unit is almost uh, 29 feet. Freshwater uh, tanks are 50 gallons, the gray and black, 35 each. Again, I shot this video in 4K, so again, it should be pretty good quality when you pause it to look at some of the visual elements. Here's the storage. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of storage in this unit, on the outside and also on the inside. This unit does not lack for storage. Here's the magnet that you attach the the latch to and also the hinges are sealed so they won't uh, you know get uh, damaged by uh, freezing rain and stuff like that that's where you connect your solar suitcase so you get this they keep you, you can top off your battery readily and here's the uh, power tongue jack two stairs uh, get you inside that's where you can connect your antenna for your TV if you want to have an external antenna, I mean TV rather, and that's where you would plug it in. You have two plugs there. Of course you would need shore power or a generator to get that thing going there. There's the exhaust for the suburban uh, heater. That's your water connection and that's where you have your water heater. But you knew that already. One of the highlights of this unit is that it has uh, uh, an external kitchen where you can have a nice picnic outside. You can enjoy your campsite and cook outside and hang out with everybody and have a good time. It has a couple drawers and a cabinet up there. It has a grilling station that operates off the little small, tiny little, uh, you know, green bottles. It has a refrigerator and uh, AC plug-ins and uh, water also, access to the water. Of course, to uh, have the refrigerator actually working, you have to be connected to shore power, a generator, or have a ton, a ton of solar power, and an inverter. Nice little sink, and of course, that's the plug-in, the GFCI, ground fault circuit, interrupting uh, plug-ins there, and that's a view of the refrigerator. A very nice refrigerator indeed. It's a good size for sodas, beverages, beer, uh, juices, whatever you want to put in there. It's perfectly fine. And some excellent storage up there for stuff that you want for your picnic site, like paper plates or whatever. And there's a light. I always uh, wonder why the Apexes don't have a ladder like their uh, cousins, the uh, Freedom Express. There's a city water connection and uh, cable and satellite connection, connection rather. And of course, this is a 50 amp unit because it has two ACs. Very nice indeed, keeping nice and cool during the summer. And that's where you, the, the dump station right there for the gray and the black. So the Schwintec uh, mechanisms, black tank flush, you need that. We all need that. On the side here is where you have your shower station for hot and cold water. Keep your feet tidy, your pet tidy, yourself tidy, anybody tidy. It's uh, very convenient. There's a side view from the other side of the storage and of course has awning or jealousy type windows. Very efficient. And the rain will just uh, fall to the ground, one into your unit, apparently. So the unit weighs 5,167 pounds, dry. 
You can put one or two batteries up there and also it has propane tanks and also the front storage area for the tires. Here I am going inside. To the left there you can see the uh, exhaust for the uh, heater. Uh, this uh, unit has in-cabinet heating. This is my opinion by the way. I believe in-cabinet heating is so so much better than you know in-floor heating. In-floor heating, like in some manufacturers have, you know, that's all they do, it collects dirt. You know, you walk outside, if you step in some dog poop, bird poop, or some trash out there and you drag it in, it can land inside there and of course it'll stink up the whole place. Here's a few of the, the dinette. It's not a U dinette, it's a, just a regular dinette. And here's a view of the small sofa. Very nice. So you have a sofa and a dinette. And then you have this uh, beautiful kitchen arrangement. You have a nice uh, American stone cast sinks. And of course they're highly recommended and used by some of the major manufacturers of uh, RVs. And it has a nice faucet that you can has a spray nozzle that you can direct any direction you want up down sideways whatever you're in the mood for seems well built all the countertops are sealed membrane thermofoil that's so 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 much better than uh, laminate which can delaminate there's a microwave and of course below that was the uh, the vent let me open up some cabinets and some drawers for you so you can see inside they're good, they're good size and there's the uh, the vent they're good size I put a plate in there and it fit no problem in fact one of these days I gotta shoot myself putting the plate in there I actually use the plate from the microwave and I stuck it in there this the backsplash it's beautiful it has a sort of iridescent sheen to it yeah, there's a lot of dimensionality to it. Let me open up some of the drawers. They're not the f highest end drawers, but they're at least they're plywood box with metal guides. They're definitely not uh, you know, dovetail. <laughs> that would be seriously expensive. I only know some uh, units that go for sixty, seventy thousand dollars that uh, have that feature. And that's a nice oven in stovetop. More storage underneath. Good size storage. Very useful storage. Let me open up some more cabinets here. This is good size uh, storage here. You can put all your chemicals down there that you clean the sink with. Hopefully using biodegradable you know, chemicals, so it won't uh, cause too much damage to the environment. I do like the uh, window, tr you know, the glass treatments for the doors of the uh, Apex better than the Freedom Express. They're much more uh, sophisticated look to them. Storage goes all the way across. Let me go into the bathroom. Directly ahead is the uh, toilet. It's a plastic one. You can always replace it with a nice high-end uh, ceramic one for about 100, 200 bucks. And as I pan up, uh, you have the smallish vent. Of course, you can also upgrade that to a Fantastic or a Max fan, so you get some maximum ventilation. There's the LED lights. There are LED lights in and out. And this is almost worth the price of admission. Uh, look at that storage. That's plenty of storage. You can stack up all kinds of little containers in there and, uh, you know, be it towels or linens, you know, there's plenty of room in there. Under the sink, there's plenty of storage too. And it's all neatly organized, very neatly. This is where they saved a little bit of money. They put a plastic sink. I would have preferred a American stone cast and even better, a stainless steel sink. There's some plugs. If you're plugged into shore power, should be A plus. Let me fix up the uh, 
cap there and put that bottle straight up. And that's an that's a good amount of storage for toothpaste, colognes, uh, you know, soaps, etc. There's lights. There's two lights in the bathroom plus a skylight. And there's a vent for one of the AC units. Again, this has two AC units. That is a bonus. Uh, this unit is 29 feet long minus an inch. There's a shower and the skylight. Nothing new there. And yeah, this is the where you can check your levels for your electricity, your battery, your gray, black, and fresh tanks, etc. And this is your water heater. You can turn it on and off apparently there. And that's your, I think this is your water uh, here. So you can get the water pump going. And of course there's in cabinet, in wall heating. And here's a nice close up of the sealed membrane thermofoil countertop some of the fabrics and textures, some of the uh, materials they use in the interior, in the window valances also. Don't forget you can always pause this video and check what's going on at any time. Because I shot it in 4K, it should be pretty good resolution. They haven't installed the TV yet, but they have some storage above for some uh, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, whatever you want to put in there. There's a couple lights there, little puck lights. Uh, nice storage, very nice storage. And this is where the TV would be, and it can revolve around uh, basic connections, uh, 1990s connections, no HDMI connections. This, they're using 90s technology for their Jensen radio. I wish they would have HDMI, but they don't. So plenty of storage, and also, of course, to the right here in the bottom, there you have some charging center. So you can charge your, uh, your laptop, your phone. Your, your, whatever you want. There's connections for the antenna. I do like these floors. These floors are very, very nice. What do you think? Don't forget you can always comment on this video and tell me what you think. Because my opinion is, you know, I'm a very opinionated guy. So, you know, and I understand other people have opinions too. So you just uh, feel free to express them on this channel. So there's the other AC unit. Uh, there's two AC units on this. Uh, travel trailer and there's also a place where you can connect you know throw up another TV and connect to the antenna and they have a backer board queen size bed and they have a little area over there where you can you know just leave stuff hang out you know you're charging your uh, your laptop and stuff your, your phone again they use awning style jealousy style windows it's your little shirt closet Hey, one on each side. And of course, this goes all the way across. So you can put quite a few nice things in there. Even a set of golf clubs. Who knows? Whatever you want to put in there that's long and, uh, or short. You can just stack it up very gent you know, gently. You have uh, solid doors, not uh, just some drapery that you can, you know, keep yourself... Uh, away from the riffraff in the front and um, it's a queen size bed don't forget to like subscribe and share I really appreciate you checking out my youtube channel gracias adios bye bye